making this video about the two witnesses and I'd like to say please God make me have the right words and that everything's true and correct in Jesus name what we do know about the two witnesses uh, first I'm gonna read to you a few verses about the two witnesses Revelation chapter 11 and I'll give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth and I want you to look a few verses before that and it says the holy city shall they tread under foot 40 and two months. Well, that's the same amount of time as 1,203 score days, which is the same amount of time that the beast that came after the dragon was to be leader, and that was Trump, and he was the leader for 42 months until they made an emergency declaration. And what it says about the two witnesses I just thought that was interesting and I thought I should add that I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth and if any man will hurt them fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devour their enemies and if any man will hurt them he must in this manner be killed these have the power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Saddam in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and the kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And at the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there was great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and earthquakes, and hail. I don't know when they died, when this happened. What you have to understand is not everything that happens in prophecy happens right in front of our face. But he ascended out of the pit about a thousand years after Jesus ascended. Because it says, 1,000 years AD after the first thousand years. Revelation 26 through 7. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. That's the first thousand years, because they are the saints that were seen in the sky with Jesus. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. After the first thousand years, Satan was loosed from his prison, and he kills the two witnesses. So that could have happened 
anywhere between that thousand years. So we don't know the names of the two witnesses, uh, and we don't know how they died because it wasn't publicized. But that doesn't mean it didn't happen, because what I do know is that they've been in the sky since I've started prophesying seven years ago. And I know that because I've seen them in figures, and there's figures of them, and all over the place in the clouds, like I explain in my videos about the signs in the sun, which is the link right there. I'm going to read Revelation 16, 8 to point out that it actually also says that the sun will scorch men with fire. And I heard the angel out of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of the saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seed of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven, because their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. I'm going to move on to my point of this video. I found this picture last night. I kind of understand it because I know what's going on. And I want to explain to you what they're using in a lot of these pictures that you're seeing is plasma. Now, plasma is like a glow and become a, like a liquid that comes from an electric charge. So it can happen around lightning storms and things like that, but this is not lightning. I'm catching these pictures 10 minutes apart and there's lightning in them, but in some of them, but not all of them. Like right here, you can see that there's lights over here, lights over here, and this supposedly is the moon. Well, you can see the fit. There's some figures in there. Let me zoom in. Right here. And you can see almost, it's kind of blurry because it's nighttime and it's really far away. I zoomed way in. This is even cropped. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go on to my other pictures, and that was the first picture. I'm going to start reading a couple things to you about plasma. Maybe a lot of people might not have an idea about what it is or what's going on um, up there that they're using, because you'll see like these blasts of color, of light, and you don't know what they are because they don't look like lightning. These are some pictures of the coronal ejections from the sun, and that is plasma. I'm going to read a couple things. It's this is what is what I looked these up on Google. What it, what color is a corona discharge? Bluish purple. What are the different types of discharges in plasma? So there's different kinds. One thing I looked up it was about the plasma, and it was showing pictures of the telephone poles, how they have the electric charge things, and then if it Electricity is coming from one side, and if I remember this correctly, the electricity going to the other side, if it gets amplified, it creates a uh, discharge of plasma. It makes it into a liquidish. It can be described as a weakly luminous non-uniform discharge, which appears at atmospheric pressure near sharp points, edges, and along thin wires. A strong electric field and ionization, along with some luminosity, are located near one electrode. Corona discharges can have both positive and negative current. This is a picture I got a while ago. I don't even know how long ago about some, uh, about, of some lights that people were catching in the sky. Now, these aren't my pictures. I didn't get them off the weather cams. These are somebody else's. I've seen this, this guy's channel. I don't remember much about it. What I do know is that these are real lights. These are discharges of plasma. Many of the times, most of the time, they are coming from what was just prophesied about how the two witnesses can use weather and all manners of plagues to do whatever they want to basically punish who they will and what parts of the earth they will. And you can see right here, this is just uh, one picture that I've, I got. 
where you can see the two figures right here. Okay, I enhanced the pictures so that you can see things. Um, and then this one's of a guy uh, sticking his head over. And what you have to understand is the, every time you see a figure, it's not necessarily one of the witnesses because the people that have died, and I, I don't know how to quite explain this because I, you have to understand my experience. If you go on my website, you can probably um, understand if you look at some of the things that I've experienced, if you go to the page that says my experiences. My point is that there are people and angels literally in the clouds. I know this as a fact. You can see the bluish purplish light that's being blasted out of there. Now, it's not a regular lightning strike, as you can tell, because lightning strikes are usually skinny. Now, this is one picture I got of one of the figures. That was a beam. My picture's behind the picture because I was trying to put everything in one where people could see the whole picture. And that's one beam that I've, I see coming out of it. If you go to this webcam site that I use quite often, you can see the weather cams all over. And when it is visible and you can see the sun in Canada, they all have those beams. You see that beam, but when it's clear, you can see it way better, and it is bright, and it is sharp, and it is unable to be explained except for by it being plasma. And if you look at these pictures I have right here, that's the scripture about the, the two witnesses. That's the dog that won't stop whining. You can see these plasma, and that's where, these are, this picture right here, I know it's kind of blurry, but you can see that these plasma direct energy strikes the Satan will try to take credit for anything that has anything to do with making the Bible sound true. So they have these claims that they can make these strikes with their own uh, weapons, but why aren't they doing it then? Why aren't they doing it then? Okay. What you can tell is that a lot of the things in uh, like when California, when all those houses were burning down and everybody was showing pictures of the trees that were still around it and it was just the houses burnt down. Well, how many evil people do you know that live in California? So it says that they will strike with plagues as often as they will. There's another picture of the figure in the sky and that's an angel, like upside down. You can see the wing, head. And this is one of the first pictures I got. There's the angels in the sky. And now if you go back to, I have these pictures that I got last night where you can see these insane pictures with the plasma in the sky. That's another, that's the original copy of that. And then we have this where it was all lit up in the sky. And this was like 10 minutes later. Okay, this is another location. Plasma ejection. 10 minutes later. Same plasma ejection, like, a little bit further away. And then you see this. This is actually a different location. And then this is to show what it looks like without that. And then this is another uh, visible is the lightning strike in there, where you can see the, the, the light right there. And that's another location. And these are all around the exact same time in different locations. Another location. Another location. Another location. That one's not too bright, but you can see. Let me see. I'll copy this one and put it over there so I can zoom in. Editor. Now I zoomed way into this one last night and you could see what it looks like almost okay and then you go back here go to the next picture now you can see how it's bright over here and then you see these bright bright reddish lightning strikes and like then this is the last picture that's the same location 10 minutes later and what is this green rain looking beam now remember that even though it said that it's a bluish color when it comes out of the sun it sure isn't so it's not necessarily going to be the same plasma ejection as the sun 
but it's not also not necessarily going to be the bluish tint one because there's different kinds. Anyway, that's like the best I can explain it right now um, with all the description and everything that we've seen in the sky and um, that's kind of like you're going to see this more and more and brighter and brighter and more and more often because it says there'll be signs in the sky and the signs are in the sky so they can warn us. And they're warning us more intensely as we move on because it's getting closer and closer to rapture, which is undoubtedly very, very soon.